Hi everyone. Today I'm going to make a review of this Super Nintendo Classic Edition remake clone I got from GameGear.net. On the left side is the Nintendo official SNES Classic Edition. And on the right side is the clone one I got from GameGear.net. And you you can see that they have the identical design and exactly exactly the same dimensions and the build quality. I wouldn't say the clone one is better than the original one, but um, I can confidently say that it has almost the same build quality. Yeah, it's very uh, nicely built. And one big advantage of the clone one is it has besides the two USB ports in the front it has two additional USB ports on the side that remind that reminds me of the, uh, the my um, old school days back in the Super Nintendo age we want to play any four player game um, we would need to use a device called multi-tap to enable, since the original one only has two controller ports, so we will need a device, a, a, a particular device called um, uh, multi-tap to extend the controller ports from two to four. But this clone one, it has four ports. So, you know, I, I got uh, these four Super Nintendo controllers. Let's hook it up and hook it to TV and see if it supports four player games. Okay, now we already hook up to everything. And the HDMI goes directly to my uh, 4K HDTV. Okay, now I hooked it up to my 4K HDTV. You can see um, the picture quality is pretty good because it's it's through HDMI. Uh, this console does have a lot of games already uh, loaded. Um, it claims to have the full collection of Family computer, um, uh, family disk system, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, aka Mega Drive, and the Nintendo NES, Super Famicom, and a Super Nintendo. And I'm gonna select one four player game to try the four controllers to see if the four player mode works out of the box. And I'm gonna, today I'm gonna use Super Bomberman. Uh, it's a very classic like, family game. It's great for uh, family and friends. And it has the four player battle mode. And let's see if it will work. Okay, we can see the four controllers are recognized. Okay, we're gonna try battle mode. Okay, we can see the, the third and the fourth players. We can only use computer, meaning the two additional controllers are not recognized successfully and it did take me some time to do the research and i finally figured it out okay we press select and x we get to the quick menu and from here we go to controls And here at the 
port 2 controls, we're going to need to change from SNES joypad, that's the default setting, we're going to need to change it to multi-tab. And then we use we press button B to go to the upper level menu. And from here, you know, uh, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, we can either save core remap file or we can save game remap file. I would recommend um, I would rec recommend you choose save game remap file because uh, the default setting works for almost every game. So this four-player mode is only required for a few four-player games. You don't want to you know, mess up. So here we select the save game remap file. Okay, now we can see from here for the third and the fourth players, we can select uh, the human beings, meaning, meaning that you know, uh, it supports four players to play together at the same time. The SNES Classic Edition clone console we got from GameGear.net worked as expected, although the four-player mode didn't work out of the box, it required a little bit of work, we finally made it. Thank you for watching my video and if you like it, be sure to sub up, subscribe to my channel and leave comment. I have put the link to the game system in the description. If you're interested, be sure to check it out. Thank you. See you next time.